Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Um, I'm doing this video before I go to sleep, and it's always 11 o'clock, but just finished eating a little supper. If you're a Haitian, you know what that is. A little um, a la bouillie my mom made. Uh, drink some la bouillie before I head, but like, I had to make this video before I, I um, um, go to bed. Um, I'm a taxi driver. I don't know whether you are, a, whether you want to call it... Um, what you call it, that little new thing again? Um, those app thing and stuff like that. Oh, it's still, I'm a taxi driver. I wanna go, I wanna be specific just because I wanna people go search what company, but I'm a taxi driver, right? And um, one thing about being a black taxi driver, cause I look young, even though I'm 40, most people don't think I'm, I'm mid 20 or, or 30, right? And it's usually, two races, black and white, but mostly white people, just because I'm black, right? I don't know if I make a video about that before, it just bother me. Just because I'm black, they also also assuming to know that I do drugs, or I know where all the drug location is, right? So I was just doing a taxi earlier, and I went to pick up this couple, and the guy was coming out a suit. The lady was well dressed. Cause we are in Orlando. There's always convention about here. Convention about there's convention for everything. There's convention for cheerleading. There's convention for like parents with kids. There's convention for like um, Microsoft. All those big tech. There's convention for lawyers. There's convention for uh, church people where they have conferences. So I don't know exactly what convention, because I didn't get a chance to go to de in depth about what they were here for. But I picked up this couple and their staff was going to a downtown. And the guy was asking me a little question here and there, but I can only smell the alcohol on them. And they was like, I'm like, oh, we're going downtown, man. Do you know what a good place are? I'm like, man, I've been, I've been, I haven't been going downtown as much lately because, you know what I mean? Since COVID, man, I haven't not going downtown much. And you know, it's been over like five, six years. I don't even much know where to go anymore because I know thing changes the last five, six years. But I know exactly some of the bar location because I'm uh, since I know they're white, they're probably looking for a bar. They're not looking for a, cl a club. Uh, and the guy said, "You know what? I'm not. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not really looking for for bars. I'm looking where uh, where the drug is." And I'm like, oh, there you go. Because it's happened before, right? And normally, if it's black people, they like to, they'll mainly say, hey, you know what, do you have a weed man? And I know because I'm black, so I'm supposed to smoke weed. This, I'm like, no, I don't smoke weed. I'm a church guy, man. I never smoke weed. Um, it never, it's never my thing because my, I grew up religiously. And I never, never got up to it. But for white people, it's always very diverse. Do they ask for we too? Yeah, they're like, hey, do you know a good place, a good women? I'll tell them no. And usually, like, when they ask me about weed, it's more laid back and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Because, you know, I'm not from, from town. I'm like, hey, no, man, no problem, man. Hey, plus, weed is very something like, but understand, I'm using those, those somebody else platform. It's technically illegal for me to tell somebody, I think, where to go get drugs. Because... First of all, if something happened, I could be reliable because it could look like I'm setting them up, right? So first of all, I never, I always think about that, and I never would say or never say or would ever say, hey, where where the drug place? Like, I never talk to nobody. I never look for somebody. I never try to partner with nobody to say it like, like that. Just because I don't want to get nobody to get hurt, or and I will be responsible for that, right? But this situation was to be even more weird because they're like. Oh man, we're looking for heroin. Um, heroin, man. Um, I'm like, oh, I'm like, I definitely, I don't know nothing about that, man. I don't know about what to do about about those kind of drug. I don't even like what kind of drug you do. I'm like, no, I don't know about the drug at all. I told you, I haven't been going down there for six years. I don't know about that. And for this little second, slight second, my my character changed. And they kind of realized my faith, my, my church, church, like, oh, I'm sorry about that, man. Um, 
we don't want to uh, disrespect you. Feel feel uncomfortable. I would think they apologize. Okay, that's uh, water under the bridge. You know what I mean? Forget about that. And he's like, yeah, I forgot. Sorry about that, man. And f like another 10 minutes later, he like, yeah, man, sorry about that, man. But if you want to, you can come party with us. I'll, tape you for, I'll pay you to come stop working to come hang out with you, us. I'm like, first of all, that's a hell no. You're not supposed to do that. Any a, a, a taxi driver or, or can I even think about that word? Or, or those up up driver, do not never leave your work to go a party with a, a ex driver you were driving with. I'm like, oh no, thank you. I'm flattered, but no, thank you. I I I I I I'm working. You know what I mean? I need to. They're like, well, I will pay you. I will pay you. X amount. I'm like, no, thank you. I appreciate that. No, thank you. And first of all, the reason they say that, I'm like, bro, now they wanna be a a freak off. No, Didi. <laughs> I'm like. Now you, now you really wanna, you, you really go there. You don't even know me. You don't know what kind of person I am. I think they probably try to read the room, and he like, and he like, bro, if you're gonna go down, and I, I'll try to look out for them. Like, bro, if you're gonna go look out downtown, just be careful because there could be down uh, undercover cops out there. It, I was surprised with the answer. He like, oh, don't worry about it. That's why we asked you. Um, we, uh, the guy said, I'm a lawyer. Um. If a cop is undercover, they're supposed to say uh, they're a cop before they go. And I say, I mean, like, you will not. I'm surprised. I'm surprised, but I'm not surprised because there's a lot of white people that have big career and they still be a drug addict. There's that and a third. And I don't think the guy cares so much about. I think the guy really want the drug, but I think the lady maybe. Matter of fact, let me change it. I think the lady really want the drug. And the guy was gonna try to do as anything possible just to make her happy, right? And I can clearly under feel like whatever she say to him, and he keep asking him. I don't know whether or not she's a freak. You know what I mean? What they try to do because he keep looking at. Uh, I can clearly look at in an auto mirror. He clearly says she keeps saying stuff or maybe texting him stuff. And um, he probably one of those guys who really love his girl. And will do anything to make her happy, regardless if probably allow them to bring somebody into the room. I just quickly like stop talking to them, drop him downtown. I point him out like, hey, this is location where you find all the bars art. Um, I only talk to him about where they can find drinks. Um, I know the, the, why they probably bar, and I'm like, go over there. I don't know. Um, that's it. Uh, and I, I and I uh, I realized I should have put a bad rating for them just because I want to make sure if they come back they put anything on my report I could be not reliable for it. Plus I don't. But uh, it, it, it's a moment like this I wish I had um camera in my in my car that it could have recording it just for and save it just for safety because the way they were out there they are already drunk. You going downtown and I know what they're gonna do. They're gonna go to different bar. Try to talk to or try to lean people in and try to ask them, do you know where I can find some good drug? I know exactly what they're gonna do. And maybe they're probably walking around to find like a black guy that um that seem shady, probably ask him, hey, you know, I got some and who knows? They probably not only do that and try to grab somebody to 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 come to go home with. Because you, you don't even know me, you don't know who I am, you don't even know if I got anything on me. And they're talking about if you want to uh, you can come party with us. Bro, you don't know. Bro, like, they, maybe, maybe they can read because they did ask me a couple of questions. And they probably, I guess, based on your answer I gave, they probably think I look safe enough to like, come hang out with them. But I will never, ever do that. I, bro, never in my life would I ever hang out with uh, somebody I drove. You know, you know so many shit I'm seeing going on, on, on online? From driving people, from taxi driver that got into altercation with guests and somebody happened to them and then they end up being, um, you know what I mean? So I will never risk my life for that, man. But it just comes to show you. And maybe that's not a black thing, uh, uh, perhaps, but it's because it happened to me quite often. It just bothered my soul, you know what I mean? 
Like, it's one thing asking you about Wei, but it's another thing. And yes, like I said, most of the time they ask me about Wei, both black and white. But normally white people is the only one who are asking me about drugs. It doesn't happen quite often, but it do happen every now and then. And it, 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 it bothered me, like I said, because I, maybe they're not being racist, but still, because, you know, sometimes when somebody, a, a drug addict, they, you know, they got to fit their, 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 um, their need, their, their, their feed, you know what I mean? The, it is what it is, but it just bothered me, man. It just bothered me. But I'm sure if I ask a couple other uh, drivers around, they probably would say the same thing. And most of them probably would say the same thing. I got to... I don't know if I can do that. I'll see if I can do it. But I'll try to ask the permission in front to see. Have you ever been encountered with um, vacationers who try to ask you where they can find drugs? It's something I'm really interested in. I would love to do that video and talk to them about that. But yeah, it's not it's not easier being a taxi driver, man. But guys, let me know what you think about this, man. If you're first time to my channel, thank you so much for watching. Why you think? Why would you like video, share video, hit the notification bell. Let me know if I want to share more personal detail about things. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Deuces.